Hey there, welcome to the channel. So, some of the past few videos I've done over the past few weeks have included recipes out of the gluten-free artisan bread in five minutes a day cookbook. I've had some really good luck with the recipes. And if you looked at the title of today's video, we finally have a gluten-free bread fail. I tried to make gluten-free crock pot bread, was super excited about the recipe, and it didn't work. So before we do anything else, if you guys wanna make a comment below, just put in the comments the word fail if you've ever experienced a failed gluten-free bread recipe. Because I know I'm not alone in this and I know it's frustrating, so put fail down in the comments just so we can all fail together at least. I'm Jamie with Savory Saver. I share gluten-free recipes, tips, tricks, resources, and now gluten-free failed recipes. So please consider hitting subscribe and let's get started. So I've got my scale under here with a piece of parchment paper. And on top of that parchment paper, I put a little bit of their master blend flour onto it. So this dough over here does not stick. You could also use just a little bit of rice flour. I'm gonna need a pound of dough. So I'm gonna get in there. Got our pound of dough sitting on here, so I'm gonna move it off of this onto the counter. Move our scale out of the way. Got a cup of water here. I'm gonna wet my fingertips and shape this really quickly. So just shape it back into a round bowl shape like what we did with our first recipe that I posted with the actual bread recipes. Smooth it out, press it down a little bit. We still wanna keep as many yeast bubbles in there as we can. So now that this is all shaped, I need to get it into the crock pot. So I'm gonna lift it up by the parchment paper, put the entire thing in the crock pot. Get that in there. The directions say, we don't have to let it rise, which is nice. We can just put the lid on and turn on the crock pot. We are gonna cook it for about an hour and 15 minutes on high. This is dependent on how much bread dough you have and probably your crock pot as well. The book suggests checking it after 45 minutes to make sure it's not over browning on the bottom. The top of our dough is gonna be lighter and softer than when we used the oven. The book tells us that we're gonna know it's done because it should feel firm on the top of the loaf. At that point, it says you can put it under the broiler in the oven for about five minutes to darken the top. So I'm gonna get the crock pot plugged in, turn it on to high, and I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Okay, so I have my pizza screen out and just off camera is the crock pot with that gluten-free crock pot bread in there. And I'm gonna unplug it so I can move it closer to the screen and we're gonna take it out and see what it looks like. Okay, so the lid is off. I'm gonna carefully lift it out. Put it on my pizza screen. It this way so you guys can see through the crinkles. Got my tongs here. So first thing, I checked it at 45 minutes. It had barely started cooking. I checked it at one hour and 15 minutes where the book said it should be done. Although, you know, there is room for a little longer, a little less, depending on the crock pot. In my crock pot, it took an additional 45 minutes. So I did an hour and 15 minutes, and then I did it for three additional 10 minutes till it finally has gotten firm on the top where I think it's probably done. If we lift up the bottom, it's pretty soft, and the direction said that it would be pretty firm. So I'm not sure how this is gonna come out, but it's not quite done because it's so light and soft on the top that I think I'm gonna throw it under the broiler 
for the five minutes that it suggests. So I'm gonna take it off the parchment paper, put it directly on my pizza screen. I'm gonna pop it under the broiler for five minutes and we'll take a look at it again. So here's our bread after five minutes under the broiler. I did have it on the highest shelf that the oven had. So it's a little dark here. It started to actually burn a little bit. The bottom side though, still soft. So I think I'm gonna pop it back in for a few minutes and see if I can get the bottom to crisp up just a little bit for us. Okay, so I put this under the broiler for about two to two and a half minutes. It did split a little bit here, it looks like, but it did firm up a little bit and it's made it a little more golden. So now that everything's done, or I think it's all done, I'm going to let it cool completely. Once it cools, we'll cut into it and see if it's done or not. Okay, guys. So it's been a couple hours and our gluten-free crock pot bread has had time to cool. I had time to do the dishes and get a walk in. So a couple things. Broiling it, you know, made it a little darker, but it did firm it up a little bit more. And to me, it almost has a smell of like English muffins. Not sure if that's an accurate description that everyone would say, but I kind of think it has an English muffin smell because, you know, they tend to be a little dark sometimes on the top and bottom. The other thing, my big concern is that the bread isn't going to be cooked when we cut into it. So let's not wait around any longer and cut into this and see what it looks like. All right, guys, I'm gonna slice it right on the pizza screen because it's gonna be washed anyway. So let's do one slice. And then let's do a second slice. And then let's see if you guys can see this because I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the camera, but this very top portion here does not has not cooked all the way through. Down here it hasn't, up here it hasn't. This part here looks mostly cooked. Let's look at this piece as well. This piece as well, it's along the top portion here, just along the bottom. So it doesn't look like it cooked all the way through. So even though it's not cooked through, let's give it a taste and see what it actually tastes like. All right, so I cut it down in half again, the little heel piece. Let's taste it. So it's definitely not totally cooked. Taste wise though, tastes like bread. It's soft. It's got moisture, which gluten-free breads are hard at getting that into it, but it's not cooked. So I don't, know that toasting this is going to be the answer. The dough itself is at day 10. That could be part of it. It also could be that my crock pot is an older crock pot and it's not getting as hot as the crock pot that was used when the recipe was developed in the book. This is not my favorite recipe. Taste wise, I like it, even though it's not totally cooked. So now we have a loaf of bread that we don't necessarily want to throw away. So I will probably still keep the bread, probably try to use it as croutons and make some croutons out of it or some bread crumbs that I can toast up and finish cooking because I still think it's gonna get that crunch that I want. What are your ideas for bread recipes that don't come out? Do you guys make them into bread crumbs? Do you make them into other fillings for maybe meatballs or meatloaf? Leave me some comments below do you think I just need to work on this recipe some more and do it again? What do you guys have to say about this? Guys, thanks for watching my attempt at making a gluten-free crock pot bread. Maybe the next recipe will be a winner. I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you on the next video.